Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, we're in Riverview, Florida. Today doing a decomp. The body was sitting for about two weeks and the bio itself was sitting for an additional two weeks. Woohoo, money! See, there's like blood, blood and like the nastiness. It soaks into the wood. That skin? Mm-hmm. There's still skin and uh, blood. You think this was on so the this body? A, yeah, because there's skin and hair on it. You see that? Hey guys, we're in Riverview, Florida. Today doing a decomp uh, in a double wide manufactured home. Um, actually one of the nicest manufactured homes that I've been in actually. But uh, this is a decomp. The body was sitting for about two weeks and the bio itself was sitting for an additional two weeks after the body was taken. Uh, so the bio is pretty hard today. There was maggots, not so much off live maggots right now. Guy was middle aged, like 50s, late 50s, early 60s I believe his parents found him. Not sure the cause of death, but we do know that he was just going through some struggles in life. Not much to know with this one, but today you've got me, Thad, and Griffin. Today is Griffin's first bio, so we'll see how she does. But uh, yeah, let's get started. We can start up here and then just kind of whoop. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much up here. Yeah, so that one's just gorgeous. So the bio is on, it's in the living area, uh, primarily on the couch, and then on the floor underneath the couch to the wall. Not sure the layout of how the body was situated because the bio like primarily is on one side, but then there's still skin and uh, blood on like the far right side. So pretty much gonna have to like gut the whole couch as a whole. And then the floor went down like below the couch, under it, all the way to the baseboard. So we'll probably have to pop the baseboard as well. Down here. Yeah. Yeah. All the black straps. Ooh, yeah, nice thing. What's this? It's not it's not disconnected just right here yet. What is that? Oh, that's what you think. Okay. 
Mm. Put up, take this in and do this in and bring it towards Fiona to that bag. Okay. Do you want me to go around the leg? Nope. Go up to the top. Okay. So we got it right here on the leg. Okay. That is how um, I know I'm supposed to get down here, but I just gotta get the piece of leather out of it. There's a little maggot party going on right here. way longer than it set up. You just want to take you two days like those ceiling I'm boards? So not. Are we going to go through like 15 blades like last time? Mm. Um, I'm Griffin. I've been working for Spalding for one month, and this is my first bio. It stinks. No, I'm kidding. No, but so far it's pretty interesting. A lot of smells, a lot of fluids, a lot of slipperies. But so far I am liking it. I'm liking the job. What made you like go out and try to get this job? I, I saw a couple videos of, actually I'm pretty sure it was these guys doing some crime scene cleanups, and I was like, you know, I'm not that squeamish. Maybe they got something, and I looked, but they didn't have anything up, and then a couple months later I was scrolling through Indeed, and I saw that some place called Spalding Beacon had a um, job opportunity. And I was like, huh, it seems like it'd be kind of interesting. So I applied. About a month later I got a message from Fiona that said, how do you feel about working in an attic? And I was like, all right, cool. So that was my first job at Spalding Beacon, and that was actually a really fun day. But so far, I think this is a good experience. We're happy to have you, Griffin. Happy to be here. Uh, <laughs> shit, I feel good, man. Are you blessed? Man, super. Man, I'm very, you know, very blessed, man. Very thankful, fortunate to wake up. See another beautiful, incredible day. Had a lot of things going on, but you know, time to get right back on, you know, your regular scheduled program. And keep grinding, man, keep plugging away. But very, very thankful. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. How's, uh, how's the uh, how's the best cameraman in the in the in the whole entire world? Oh my god! World doing? Uh, way better feeling now. Good? I know you're feeling good. I know you, you know, you're on another level of your filming these days. Uh, I almost don't know if I should shake your hand and get an autograph. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting both actually. <laughs> yeah, it might be worth something. If you got time. I always yeah, got uh, time for you, Thaddy. Very good. Very nice. Know your boy yeah. next time for you. Yeah, man. Very good. 
<laughs> All right. Look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It says presented to crime scene cleaning for passing 100,000 subscribers. So that's pretty cool. We're so excited to celebrate your YouTube journey with you. Not only have you brought a unique voice and style to the world, you've also created a valuable connection and built community along the way. In that spirit, YouTube is proud to present you with the Silver Creator Award, which celebrates your hard work and incredible achievement. Congratulations on this amazing milestone, just one of many that we hope will follow in the future. I don't know if you remember that story back in 2019 when I had the idea to put our show on YouTube. Everybody told me it was a stupid idea. It would never go anywhere. It would come off as insensitive. It would uh, be a totally bad idea. So um, now all of you naysayers, hold my beer. Because look at this. <laughs> okay? Look at this. So. Um, Gladly they were wrong, and uh, I believe that the way we've presented the content is educational. They get to know everybody, and highlighting each of the franchise partners has really uh, expanded the brand. Pretty impressive, it's the first time we're changing it. See there's like blood, blood and like the nastiness. And let's clean up top and we clean the top off, but what happens is it goes through the floor, there, under here. It can go even lower sometimes mm -hmm. if it sits. Yeah. It soaks into the wood. And that's why we needed to get it out so we can fully decontaminate. Because if not, it'll still drop bugs and it'll still smell. It's just like that other one. They had the, that one. Uh, the other one. They had a foam like this. It just had spring. No, but the but spring might be up under the foam right there. Is that wood going that way though? This is this piece. So this piece does it go through? We're gonna have to cut this more. If you cut all the way right here, I'll just pluck it out.
Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're good, Fee. Yeah, sweep up, clean up, move some more stuff out. We straight. How you feel, Fanny? Uh, feel good though. You're as young as you feel. feel good. This was on the Listen. body. Yeah, because there's skin and hair on it. You it's see that? Alright guys, so we're wrapping up day one. Uh, we got all the bio done. As you can see, took the flooring out, replaced the flooring as well uh, for safety precautions. So all that's done. Uh, tomorrow we do a little bit of content removal and we put the ozone for 48 hours to get rid of um, the remaining odor that lingers sometime afterwards. So it is like 100 degrees outside. It's super hot, but uh, we got the job done. All right, Fee, see you next time. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.